Join me as we plunge into the big blue, into a realm teeming with life so bizarre, so alien, you'd think we'd stumbled upon another planet. Yes, today we venture into the depths to uncover 10 of the most fascinating underwater creatures you've likely never laid eyes on. The ocean, that vast, swirling expanse of blue, is often referred to as Earth's last great frontier, and for good reason. It's a realm of mystery and wonder, a place where sunlight struggles to penetrate, where pressure can crush steel, and where life, against all odds, flourishes in the most extraordinary of forms. It's a world teeming with creatures that continue to capture our imagination, fueling our curiosity with every new discovery. Despite its importance to our planet, regulating our climate and providing us with sustenance, there's still so much we don't know about it. It's estimated that up to 75% of all marine species remain undiscovered, a hidden tapestry of life lurking beneath the waves. But today we shine a light on a few of these incredible creatures, so let's don our metaphorical diving suits and begin our countdown, exploring the unexpected, the unbelievable, the truly remarkable. Our journey begins with a creature that seems to defy logic, the sea walnut. Also known as the sea piglet, this gelatinous marvel, pulsating gently in the currents, looks more like a figment of our imagination than a living, breathing creature. It's actually a type of sea slug, but one with an extraordinary secret. The sea walnut, you see, is a master of survival, drifting through the water, its ethereal beauty captivating all who encounter it. It uses its delicate, feathery appendages, almost invisible to the naked eye, to capture microscopic prey from the water, ensnaring them in a delicate yet deadly embrace. But what truly sets this creature apart, what elevates it from the curious to the astonishing, is its unique ability to photosynthesize. Yes, uh, you heard that right. Much like the plants we see on land, the sea walnut can harness the power of the sun to produce its own food. How does it achieve this feat of biological brilliance, you ask? The sea walnut incorporates algae into its very being, forming a symbiotic partnership that allows it to thrive in the nutrient-poor waters it calls home. These algae, residing within the sea walnut's body, absorb sunlight and convert it into energy, providing sustenance for both themselves and their host. And if its photosynthetic abilities weren't impressive enough, the sea walnut has another trick up its non-existent sleeve, it possesses the remarkable ability to lose and regrow its appendages, a process known as autotomy. Imagine, if you will, being able to shed a limb to escape a predator's grasp, only to regrow it later, good as new. A superpower indeed! The sea walnut, my friends, is a testament to the boundless creativity of evolution, a creature that challenges our understanding of what life can be. It is without a doubt one of the most incredible creatures in the ocean and a shining example of the incredible diversity of life on our planet. From the ethereal beauty of the sea walnut, we now descend into the darker depths to a realm where giants roam. Here, in the cold, crushing pressure of the deep sea, we encounter the giant isopod, a creature that looks like it's crawled straight out of a prehistoric nightmare. Imagine, if you will, a pill bug but scaled up to monstrous proportions, that, my friends, is the giant isopod. These crustaceans, distant relatives of the crabs and lobsters we're familiar with, can grow up to 30 centimeters in length, dwarfing their terrestrial counterparts. The giant isopod is a scavenger, a denizen of the deep that plays a vital role in the ocean's delicate ecosystem. It roams the seabed, its keen senses alert for the scent of decaying flesh, a macabre feast that awaits it in the darkness. When a whale falls to the ocean floor, for example, it becomes a banquet for a host of creatures, including the giant isopod. These opportunistic feeders descend upon the carcass, their powerful jaws tearing through flesh and bone with ease. But the giant isopod is not just a gluttonous scavenger, it's also a master of survival, able to withstand long periods without food. In fact, some individuals have been known to survive for over a year without eating a single bite. This remarkable ability is a testament to the harsh conditions in which the giant isopod lives. In the deep sea, food is scarce and only the toughest and most adaptable creatures can survive. The giant isopod, with its armored exoskeleton, its slow metabolism and its ability to go without food for extended periods, is a true marvel of deep sea adaptation. It is a creature that reminds us that life finds a way, even in the most extreme environments on our planet. 
From the dimly lit depths we ascend back towards the sun-dappled coral reefs where a creature of dazzling beauty and astonishing power awaits. Prepare to be amazed by the peacock mantis shrimp, a creature that could rival any superhero in its abilities. Don't let its diminutive size fool you. This shrimp, adorned in a vibrant tapestry of colours that would put a peacock to shame, is a force to be reckoned with. Its most impressive feature, those remarkable eyes. The peacock mantis shrimp boasts the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom, capable of perceiving a spectrum of colour far beyond our own limited vision. While we humans make do with three types of colour receptors, the peacock mantis shrimp possesses 12. Imagine a world awash in hues we can't even fathom, a kaleidoscope of colours beyond our wildest dreams. That's the world the peacock mantis shrimp inhabits, a world of vibrant corals, flashing bioluminescence and intricate patterns invisible to our eyes. But its visual prowess is just the tip of the iceberg. The peacock mantis shrimp is also a formidable hunter, wielding two powerful club-like appendages that it uses to smash, spear and stun its prey with lightning-fast speed. These punches, delivered with the force of a .22 caliber bullet, are so powerful they create cavitation bubbles in the water, tiny pockets of vapor that implode with tremendous energy. The resulting shockwave is enough to stun prey much larger than the shrimp itself. The peacock mantis shrimp, a creature of dazzling beauty and astonishing power, is a testament to the incredible diversity of life that thrives beneath the waves. It's a reminder that even in the most familiar of ecosystems, the ocean never ceases to amaze us. Chapter 4. Sea Pig. The adorable vacuum cleaners of the deep. Now let's journey back to the abyssal plains, the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean where we encounter a creature that looks like it's been designed by a committee of plush toy makers. Say hello to the sea pig, a creature so bizarre, so utterly charming, it's hard to believe it's real. Imagine a plump pink cushion covered in tiny stubby legs and sporting a pair of antenna-like appendages that twitch and sway in the current. That, my friends, is the sea pig, a type of sea cucumber that's more adorable than cucumber-like, wouldn't you agree? But don't let their cuddly appearance fool you. Sea pigs are tough customers, perfectly adapted to life in the unforgiving depths. They're found in all the world's oceans at depths of over 3,000 meters where the pressure is crushing and the temperature hovers just above freezing. So how do they survive in this harsh environment? Sea pigs are deposit feeders, meaning they obtain their food by extracting organic matter from the sediment on the seafloor. Think of them as the vacuum cleaners of the deep hoovering up detritus and extracting nutrients from the ocean's leftovers. Those adorable little legs, they're not just for show. Sea pigs use them to slowly amble across the seabed, their sensitive tentacles constantly probing the sediment for anything edible. And those antenna-like appendages? They're actually olfactory organs, highly sensitive to the faintest whiff of a potential meal. Sea pigs, with their plump bodies, their stubby legs, and their insatiable appetites, are a testament to the fact that even in the deepest, darkest corners of the ocean, life finds a way to thrive. They're a reminder that beauty can be found in the most unexpected of places, and that there's still so much we have to learn about the creatures that inhabit our planet. Chapter 5. The Sea Angel, an ethereal dancer of the icy depths. From the muddy, abyssal plains we ascend once more, this time to the frigid waters of the Arctic and Antarctic. Here, in this realm of ice and snow, we encounter a creature so delicate, so otherworldly, it seems to have floated straight out of a fairy tale. Prepare to be enchanted by the sea angel, a creature that embodies grace and beauty in their purest forms. Imagine a tiny, translucent being, its body no larger than your thumbnail, fluttering through the water with the grace of a ballerina. Two delicate wing-like appendages propel it through the water, creating the illusion of flight in this alien aquatic ballet. The sea angel, a type of swimming sea slug, is a marvel of adaptation. Its translucent body, almost invisible in the water, camouflages it from predators, while its small size allows it to drift effortlessly with the currents. But don't let their delicate appearance fool you. Sea angels are voracious predators feasting on another type of pteropod known as the sea butterfly. When a sea angel encounters its prey, it extends a pair of buckle cones, tentacles armed with tiny hooks and snares its victim in a deadly embrace. 
The sea angel, a creature of ethereal beauty and surprising ferocity, is a reminder that even in the most extreme environments, life finds a way to thrive. It's a testament to the power of adaptation, the beauty of evolution, and the sheer wonder of the natural world. Chapter 6. The Leafy Sea Dragon, a master of disguise among the kelp. Our journey now takes us to the temperate waters off the coast of Australia, where we encounter a creature that's mastered the art of disguise. Prepare to be amazed by the leafy sea dragon, a creature that blends so seamlessly with its surroundings it's almost impossible to spot. Imagine a fish, but not as you know it. The leafy sea dragon is adorned with long, flowing appendages that mimic the fronds of seaweed, making it virtually indistinguishable from its kelp forest home. It's a master of camouflage, a phantom of the deep that drifts through the water, its true nature concealed by its leafy disguise. But the leafy sea dragon's camouflage is not just about blending in, it's also about attracting prey. Small crustaceans and plankton, mistaking the sea dragon's appendages for tasty morsels, venture too close and find themselves sucked into the creature's snout before they even realize their mistake. The leafy sea dragon, a master of disguise and a cunning predator, is a testament to the power of evolution. It's a creature that has adapted perfectly to its environment, its body a testament to the intricate dance between predator and prey that plays out in the ocean depths. Now we descend once more to the cold, dark depths of the North Pacific, where a creature of comical appearance and surprisingly tender paternal instincts awaits. Meet the Blob Sculpin, a fish that's often described as having a face only a mother could love. And what a face it is. The Blob Sculpin, as its name suggests, has a rather gelatinous, almost shapeless body and a perpetually grumpy expression that's sure to elicit a chuckle. But don't let their comical appearance fool you. These fish are dedicated parents, fiercely protective of their young. Blob sculpins live on the seafloor, often at depths of over 2,000 meters, where they lay their eggs in rocky crevices. The male blob sculpin takes on the role of guardian, fiercely protecting the eggs from predators until they hatch. During this time, the male will not leave the nest, even to feed. He'll fan the eggs with his fins to keep them oxygenated and will even attack any creature that ventures too close, regardless of its size. The blob, sculpin a creature of comical appearance and surprising tenderness, is a reminder that even in the deepest, darkest corners of the ocean, parental love knows no bounds. It's a testament to the diversity of life on our planet and the incredible adaptations that allow creatures to thrive in even the most extreme environments. From the comical countenance of the Blob Sculpin, we journey to the ocean's depths once more to encounter a creature that seems more at home in a science fiction film than in the real world. Prepare to be awed by the giant isopod, a crustacean that takes the concept of big bugs to a whole new level. Imagine a pill bug, but one that's grown to the size of a dinner plate. That, my friends, is the giant isopod, a creature that can reach lengths of over 30 centimeters, making it one of the largest members of the isopod family. These gentle giants are scavengers, roaming the ocean floor in search of dead and decaying animals. They play a vital role in the deep sea ecosystem, cleaning up the seafloor and recycling nutrients back into the food web. One of the most remarkable things about giant isopods is their incredible resilience. They can survive for months without food, thanks to their slow metabolisms and their ability to store energy in their large bodies. In fact, one giant isopod in Japan survived for over five years without eating a single bite. The giant isopod, with its alien appearance and its incredible adaptations, is a reminder that the ocean depths are still full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. It's a creature that challenges our understanding of life on Earth and reminds us that there's still so much we have to learn about the creatures that inhabit our planet. From the depths we ascend once more, this time to the vibrant coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific, where a creature of breathtaking beauty and astonishing power awaits. Prepare to be dazzled by the peacock mantis shrimp, a creature that's as beautiful as it is deadly. Imagine a shrimp, but one that's decked out in a kaleidoscope of colors, its exoskeleton shimmering with iridescent hues. 
That's the peacock mantis shrimp, a creature that's as visually stunning as any fish on the reef. But the peacock mantis shrimp is more than just a pretty face. It's also one of the most powerful creatures in the ocean, pound for pound. Its club-like appendages can strike with the force of a .22 caliber bullet, delivering blows so fast they create cavitation bubbles in the water. These bubbles, formed by the rapid acceleration of the shrimp's club, implode with tremendous force, generating temperatures of up to 8,500 degrees Fahrenheit. This incredible power allows the peacock mantis shrimp to crack open the shells of crabs, snails, and even clams, making it a formidable predator on the reef. But the peacock mantis? Shrimp's most impressive feature is undoubtedly its eyes. These complex organs can see a spectrum of color far beyond our own allowing the shrimp to perceive a world of vibrant hues and intricate patterns that are invisible to the human eye. The peacock mantis shrimp, with its dazzling beauty, its explosive power and its remarkable vision, is a testament to the incredible diversity of life that thrives on coral reefs. It's a creature that reminds us that even in the most familiar of ecosystems, the ocean never ceases to amaze us. And now for our final creature, we return to the abyssal plains, the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean where a creature of surprising cuteness and ecological importance awaits. Say hello to the sea pig, a creature that proves that even in the most extreme environments, life finds a way to be adorable. Imagine a plump pink sausage covered in tiny stubby legs and sporting a pair of antenna-like appendages that twitch and sway in the current. That, my friends, is the sea pig, a type of sea cucumber that's more adorable than cucumber-like, wouldn't you agree? But don't let their cuddly appearance fool you. Sea pigs are tough customers, perfectly adapted to life in the unforgiving depths. They're found in all the world's oceans at depths of over 3,000 meters, where the pressure is crushing and the temperature hovers just above freezing. So, how do they survive in this harsh environment? Sea pigs are deposit feeders, meaning they obtain their food by extracting organic matter from the sediment on the seafloor. Think of them as the vacuum cleaners of the deep, hoovering up detritus and extracting nutrients from the ocean's leftovers. Those adorable little legs, they're not just for show. Sea pigs use them to slowly amble across the seabed, their sensitive tentacles constantly probing the sediment for anything edible, and those antenna-like appendages, they're actually olfactory organs, highly sensitive to the faintest whiff of a potential meal. Sea pigs, with their plump bodies, their stubby legs, and their vital role in the deep sea ecosystem, are a reminder that every creature, no matter how small or strange, has a part to play in the delicate balance of life on Earth. As we resurface from our journey to the depths, it's clear that the ocean is an extraordinary tapestry of life, teeming with creatures that challenge our imaginations and redefine our understanding of what's possible. From the ethereal beauty of the sea angel to the explosive power of the peacock mantis shrimp, these 10 creatures are just a glimpse into the incredible diversity that lies beneath the waves. But the ocean is more than just a source of wonder. It's a vital ecosystem that plays a crucial role in regulating our planet's climate, providing us with food and oxygen, and supporting a vast web of life. As we continue to explore and learn more about the ocean, we're constantly reminded of the importance of protecting this precious resource for future generations. So let's all do our part to conserve the ocean and its inhabitants, reduce your plastic use, support sustainable seafood choices, and spread the word about the importance of ocean conservation. Together, we can ensure that the wonders of the deep continue to inspire and amaze us for generations to come.